I've been talking to some of the contact person and they gossip to me. They say, you don't sleep. You eat, talk, and <laughs> talk nonsense because of time. Me also, I came home mostly some like two o'clock, you know, after talking out and end here and there with <laughs> these and that people. And it's about two, and then by the time I take shower and change and pet the bed and good night to everybody in the whole <laughs> family, it's about three, if I'm lucky. You know. So there's no point going to bed. Huh? <laughs> if you go to bed, you cannot wake up. Huh? But it's so nice to sleep here, huh? don't you think? Wow. <laughs> That's why you don't sleep at night, because it's, it's warmer here together, you know. My birds, they're also like that. They snuggle together to sleep. Yeah. Every day I come back, it's, the chair is cold again. I, I put it there to come back, you know, but it took it away. I know why, because when I first came, I gave it to one of the brothers, you know, the hufa outside, because he, I saw him cold, so I took it from me and gave it to him and I give it to somebody else. So he thought, that's the way we should do it. <laughs> My God. I thought you are enlightened. Mm. Jeez. Every day is different, huh? Situation different. Don't follow me. Follow your teaching, uh, your head. Eh? Follow the logic. Not just, uh, just do everything I do. It's, it's like stupid people. Mm. Because every day I do different things, eh? Every day I say different things. You guys are so slow, some of you are so slow to learn this stuff. Like the turtle, turtle. <laughs> I tell you a joke to make you appetize before you go, okay? There was a rabbit and a turtle live together. Maybe you know it already, probably from internet. <laughs> I think maybe I don't need to teach you anything anymore because you can get anything from internet. <laughs> Nothing I say is new anymore. <laughs> and uh, there was a rabbit and a turtle lived together, huh? And one day the rabbit has a lot of headache, probably eat too much carrot, especially the genetically modified carrot. <laughs> They're very big, you yeah. know. And feeling, and God knows what, what uh, things they put in there, huh? All kind of mixture which might not agree with each other, and the fighting in his stomach. And uh, when the stomach is uh, don't have enough space, they go up to the head. So he got headache. So he asked the turtle, "Oh, brother, could you please, please go to the pharmacy and get me some?" headache medicine because my head was pounding. You know, I ate, I went to a party last night and they served so big carrot and I ate so much, so much and, you know, and I also drink some carrot juice and I got hangover. Mm. <laughs> so, would you please, you know, go to the drugstore and get me some headache medicine, you know, quickly, quickly. So the turtle say, okay, from his room, he say, okay. And then one hour passed by, two hours passed by, three hours passed by, four hours passed by, and the turtle is nowhere to be seen. And the, 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 the hangover rabbit just staying in bed and feeling so much headache, and he feels so mad, he say, this, this, so this is a typical stupid turtle. When do he come back here? I will give him some of my mind. I said, oh, such a terrible headache like this, and where is he? You know, the drugstore is already in the corner. <laughs> such a stupid guy. <sighs> and then, Fifteen minutes after he talked, he, he, he spoken, he heard the, 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 the reply from the turtle's room. He said, now that you're talking bad about me like that, I'm not going anymore. Laughter <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds familiar to me. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I talk to my attendant about something, you know, and he, no reply. So I got used to it. So I thought they don't hear me, you know. But ten minutes later, I say, "Yeah, the thing you asked for is in your room." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought they didn't hear me, so I, I, I don't ask any further. They did hear me, but they finished their stuff first. <laughs> Whatever they do at that time, and then tell me later, you know. I thought they didn't hear me, so I forget about things already, and I go mind my own business and find it myself. And then uh, they turn around and say, the thing you asked earlier on is <laughs> is in your room in <laughs> such and such a place. Yeah. So we have many turtles, you know, not just <laughs> not just the internet turtles. <laughs> uh, are you guys okay? You want any special question? Hmm? These are contact persons? Yeah? Or no? Yes. yes, huh? How come so little? Huh? They sit over here? Too shy? Take turn? <laughs> so many empty places. I could rent them all, you know. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice that you give me space with winter. My God, the closer the better. Jeez. <laughs> so cold. Ah, I wish maybe next time we have a warmer place somewhere. But we can't have everything, you know. When it's cold, it's nice to sit also, huh? You sit so still, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you know, you don't move, huh? Yeah, you don't move at all. <laughs> the neighbor's shoulder is so soft and warm. And <laughs> quilt with sleeping bag and everything, you know, oh my God. I never saw such disciples like you. <laughs> I've been in many ashrams, you know, before, you know, but to sit still like this is incredible. <laughs> Don't sleep all night and sit all day, my God. <laughs> my God, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder you are so enlightened, huh? <laughs> How do you do that? Hmm? <laughs> How do you do that? Sit there and cheating on Buddha. Hmm? <laughs> I love you, Master. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, sit there and daydream. Hmm? You're like my birds and my dog. <laughs> At night they don't let me sleep, daytime they sleep so well. <laughs> I couldn't even wake them up to, to go out, you know, for doing their business outside. They're so lazy, we have to drag them, you know. Oh, scoop them up, you know, the big one, the only big guy can take care. If I have to take care, sometimes I have to drag them, you know, like, come on, come on, baby. Let's put some wheels on your on your legs. <laughs> Maybe we have to, <laughs> to roll it around. <laughs> They grow up so big, the doctors cannot believe that they are vegetarian. Well, we have to take them for checkup sometimes, otherwise they are excellent condition. But sometimes they they chum on each other and you know <laughs> have have a muscle problem, thing like that. But there's nothing more, you know, or run too fast and then <laughs> strain themselves. But otherwise, they're very, very, very good and healthy. And the doctor couldn't believe they were pure vegetarian, you know. Mm. Yeah, but one of the dogs won a real bone, he told me. <laughs> he said, are you happy, everything? Said, yes, yes, I won a real bone. <laughs> one bone for myself and outside the house. I said, why is that? Well, because in here, everybody take it from me. <laughs> Sometimes they take it from me. I don't give them, I give them those uh, nylon bones and those bones with, uh, with a lot of good stuff in there, you know, but it's not those uh, barbarous bones with uh, 
Maharo and flesh hanging on it. So I don't know where he learned the real bone from. Must be from the other two adopted one, you know. Because they're puppies, they have never seen bones in their life. <laughs> How come they know it? How come he knows it? They, you know, Rottweiler. So he said he learned it from, uh, you know, Happy, the girl. She said, where I came from, you know, I had a bone like that. <laughs> and you can chew all day, <laughs> and it's still there. <laughs> the, and then they learn how to hide the bone, you know, those vegetarian bones, and hide it under the fridge and couldn't get it out. <laughs> and just sit there all day looking inside. <laughs> My God. Sometimes I go in the sofa, you know, lay in the cushion, and hey, what's that? <laughs> it's a bone. <laughs> Hiding under the cushion. <laughs> yeah. But I said to him, are you kidding? I have never seen anyone take bone from you. You always take bone from everybody else. <laughs> because he even take, take things from the other dog's mouth, you know. <laughs> he jaw open and take it out. <laughs> he take it from the Australian shepherd all the time. You know, like when I give them some food, he's always the fastest one, the Rottweiler. Fastest, and then he he haven't even swallowed halfway yet. He took he he see the other one get it, and he the the, the Australian shepherd just open just take it half and then he take ow oh, and take it out <laughs> because hermit is his name because he's very shy he's very introvert you know he, he's not very. Um, like over outgoing, like happy and every other dog. You see, happy the girl with the ribbon. She charm on everyone. She loves everybody, and especially she loves the elder people. And Benny, the the smallest one, loves kids. When he see kids, oh, he goes crazy. <laughs> and uh, when he see kids, even on TV, he goes crazy. <laughs> yeah, he want to take him out and play with him. And when he couldn't find it on TV, he go around the TV, look behind it. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but he's the only one that watches TV. Other dogs, they don't care. And Sunny also, uh, Sunny also, he watch TV a lot. Sunny and the other two very small ones. They love TV. Others they don't care. They watch or not watch, you know. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Benny loves TV. <laughs> he loves. He's so clever. They go behind the, the the TV and look for for <laughs> for, <laughs> for the kids. But now he knows. He doesn't go behind anymore. It's no use. He tell me no use. They're not there. <laughs> They're hiding in this box, I couldn't get them. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't want to steal your time anymore. You go eat, okay? I shall see uh, the Vietnamese today in the gym. After meal, 5.30. And after that, if I have time, I see other country, okay? Mm. And so on. <laughs> yeah, we make a marathon interview today, <laughs> meeting. Last night was good, huh? Mm. Good, good. Mm. You guys always prepare a program in case, huh? And uh, also you did even bring your nice clothes and all that. Yeah, without telling. I don't know, now you always prepare for, for fun, <laughs> for party and, and things like that, huh? and program. This is cool. Now don't take this away, huh? I might come back. <laughs> it lasts long, though. <laughs> you need it, you can use it. But put another new one on for me, all right? Not that you can't, it's just that uh, it's mine. <laughs> if you want to see my bird or not? No, huh? No. They make noise. <laughs> maybe, okay. And maybe we we'll bring them into the, the gym, no? I see. Difficult, I'm going to concentrate when they're around. Oh.
<laughs> I cannot concentrate when the birds are around. Because <laughs> uh, cause they want attention also, you know. Sometimes I talk on the phone, they come and need me. Yeah. Or if I talk to somebody else, they might need me. <laughs> Say, I'm here. <laughs> and when I talk to other birds also, they like that. So um, it's a very good. They remind you to concentrate on one thing at a time, you know. But I told them I can concentrate on many things at the same time. <laughs> many birds at the same time, but they don't believe that. <laughs> they say, this is my only chance for ten minutes. Just concentrate on me. Yeah, uh, he, he can wait for his turn next, yeah. So I said, okay, well, who can argue with that? <laughs> hey, they, they buy if you concentrate on somebody else while well, having them in your hand, you know. Uh, they teach you the, uh, the, the principle of one thing at a time. <laughs> they told me one thing at a time. <laughs> they told me, you should know better, you are the master. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Oh my God, can you believe that? <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, uh, there's a sister who can talk to the animal. Come here. Where are you? Oh, come here. Are you real? Are you kidding me? Come here. <laughs> How do you talk to them? Yeah, some people can. It is no joke. Anybody else can? I mean, psychically. Just you? Oh, come up here. Yeah, yeah. How you talk to them? Tell me, tell me. Really? Yes. How? Um, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> it was scaring me. It was scaring me also that I can talk to animals. Why? It's good. Yeah, because I I did not res expect that uh, they can respond to me in, you in have psychic. Pet? Yeah. No, I um. Uh, did you learn it? No, just feeling. I I noticed that I can do that as I was also very young. Ah, yeah, some people have this gift. Yeah, and uh, with it. Yes. sometimes when I pass by on the street and the, and the dogs come by and I can hear that what he's feeling or what he wants. And um, like, um, sometimes I talk to them, but they are very scared. Yeah. They, they keep distance to people, you know, yes. they have broken heart oh. and they can hardly believe uh, anymore that people mean goodness to them. Oh. And that's true. And, and I really try to I tell you. Yeah, and I really try to tell them. Well, um, like you tell me. Well, we are uh, disciple of Master Ching Hai. I, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, and uh, we are vegetarian, and uh, we we don't do you any harm, and yes. we we try to love you as much as possible. Yes. And. Uh, I, I'm it's sorry, okay. sorry brothers yeah, yeah, yeah. and sisters. Hold it. <laughs> um, Feel better after. And yes. uh, I'm a Chinese, and I know in Chinese, especially in Canton, where I live, people eat dogs and cats and all kinds of animals. Like and they're I, hungry. Yeah. Mm. Well, they eat it just like uh, like a pr privilege. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, Sometimes, yes. Yes, and I say in my heart and say, dogs, I'm so sorry. Um, my country people, they do that, but I don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian now, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, they, and they try to come to me and mm -hmm. then uh, kiss my hands and all this. Oh. I don't like their um, saliva, but... Saliva? Well, oh, it's saliva. Okay. But saliva it's okay. is antiseptic. Yeah, yes. and uh, sometimes even fish, they can understand. The what? Fish. The fish to eat? No, no. Uh, even the fish can understand. They they can um, communicate with. Oh, me. sure, of course. Our animal. They yeah. say they talk. Because I dive in November, mm -hmm. and uh, it's about twenty meter, thirty meter, mm -hmm. something deep. They talk to you? Yeah, they. I I saw them, and I just recite five names, uh -huh. and some very big ones like this big, <laughs> and they came to me, and they just watch me with one side of their face because uh -huh. their face is like this know, know. and they cannot see me with both eyes and they uh -huh. came so near uh -huh. to me and then I just keep saying to them well uh, we love them I try to uh, recite five name and uh -huh. tell them well if you want to learn uh, with Master Ching Han, you have to be a <laughs> human next time <laughs> and blah blah and all this <laughs> and uh, they just keep watching me all the time they, they came they so say? close you say that? And, and they hardly believed me and they say just like okay um, uh, just like um, I can hardly believe that there's something such things like this Hello, yeah oh, really? <laughs> and uh, cool. and then they come very near and very near and I 
and I feel they are more friendly to me. Mm. And um, well, we are not fish; we cannot stay too long. And then when they leave, when yeah. we leave, they leave also. Yeah. But it's very nice atmosphere yeah. um, to feel the response, even in under the water, yeah. because the ocean it's everywhere. There's life, yeah, no matter big or small. Yeah. So yes. um, and birds also, but I think. Um, I, it's a big competition. I, I'm not sure I can love them as much as you do to them. So, um, and sometimes maybe they don't like to talk. Sometimes I feel that I can talk to them, but maybe they don't like to talk to yeah, me. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So they don't always trust people. Yeah. And they don't have to respond. Yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. If only a special occasion. If they need something, then yeah. they will talk. Otherwise, they don't. Sometimes you have to ask them, "Are you there? You want to talk?" Yeah. And they say yes. Yeah. If they don't say yes, then don't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they're in a bad mood, also. You know, yeah. leave me alone. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then better don't touch them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's good that you have good experience. So at least you know what Doctor Dolito is doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because these things are real. You know, uh, in America, for example, there are. Uh, Well, uh, um, many of, uh, not many, maybe, well, maybe a few dozen people who do this as a profession. Yeah. And um, because sometimes the animal, they're sick and the owner don't know what to do and the doctor couldn't find the illness. Sometimes the doctor even use these people to find out the sickness of the, the animals in order to prescribe correctly. Yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> But you have to talk from the heart center most of the time. You use your heart or it just comes naturally? Uh, I don't know where I use <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because you probably more, uh, it's different. It's, okay. it's quite yeah. tiring to talk to them sometimes. It is, yeah. I told you. Yeah. You have to go a little lower level. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's why I don't always talk to them also. Yeah. It's no need. Don't need. Yes. I don't even talk to you all the time either, you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we just live, let's live, just communicate by love, you know? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, I, the more I talk to animals, the more I understand how Master come down to our level to talk to us, to understand our uh, worldly feeling and emotion and all these, because it's really, after some time you feel that you're almost like a dog. <laughs> You know, you are you are at that feeling. You you have you have almost the animal <laughs> feeling. At yes, that. we are an animal too. What do you think? <laughs> then, then for me, it's sometimes difficult to climb up again to remind myself that I I try to be a saint. You know, <laughs> and yeah. then come up higher. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're still there, so <laughs> it's all right. Um, all beings have feelings. Yeah. It's the same. It's just that we think we are. Superior. Well, we are. We we are more endowed with more intellig more intellect, and more ability to find things to survive. Yeah, they uh, have been endowed with just a limited uh, uh, capability because they don't need so much. They they're more free in a way. Yeah. The more we are endowed, the more entangled we are. Also, they are, it goes both way. Yeah? everything is like that. It has good and bad things. Uh, on the contrary, they are very simple, so they are not too complicated either. Yeah, they live a uh, more free life, more reliant on God, and more close to God. Yeah. Yes, but some are negative too. If if they uh, contact with the negative force, they became also negative. Some dogs, for example, if they act negatively because number one they have been treated badly. Number two, because some of the uh, other bad dog spirit come around them and tell them, "Don't trust human." Yeah, because those dog has been badly treated too, mm-hmm. and so they come around and surround this dog and tell them, "Don't trust human. They are bad." And they tell them all kind of bad things. Or the dog or the cat don't trust human, and keep distance like those that you have seen, yeah. which is also true. You know, in some area, you know, if they're not careful, they be. In the soup, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's true. <laughs> Dog stew is a very favorite in some part of Asia. Yeah. yeah. And when they come here, they see you American eating hot dogs. They wonder which part of the dog <laughs> <laughs> that you're eating. <laughs> they thought you're the same in their country. 
eating dog meat. How come eat only one part of the dog? <laughs> the other parts are better. <laughs> Excuse me, bad joke. <laughs> I learned it from internet also. <laughs> Um, by the way, Master, I saw also, I spoke also to a small, uh, like, gecko uh, near the lady tent area. Mm. I made a tent. They are inside, they are white, and the back, they are almost like um, the leaves color, mm -hmm. so, so brown. Mm. And, uh, and then he tried to escape, and, and I tried to save him, and then he struggled and so in the leaves and then I, and then I talked to him and said so I, I tried to help you just don't move don't scare me and I will not scare you mm. and then he's still two he's times yeah. and then and then say I really want to help you and then he lay down there and just let me use a, a dry leaf to help him out and then I just put him out to the to the bushes yes. so he went mm -hmm. so that's good then I know that he he knows what I'm talking yeah Sometimes they don't respond, but yeah. they do know. No, actually, these they also drop dead by 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 nature. Yeah, they can. Yes, they, they play can. dead yeah, yeah. so that uh, the uh, predator don't eat yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> or that show that uh, uh, you know they're not willing to be eaten. Mm. Yes, this is their language. You see. So anyway, okay. Can anybody else talk to the animals? <laughs> you do. How do you do that? Come over here. <laughs> Same stuff? Yeah, come here. If you want if anyone wanna go eat, go eat. Anybody want to stay here, gossip can stay. Yeah, sit there, honey, sit there. Mm. Are you warming up there? Okay. Where are you from? What's from country? China. From China? Mainland China? Yeah. Well you speak English so well. Germany. You live in Germany still? Yes. What uh Munich? What? Yes, Munich. Oh, that's my hometown before. <laughs> Yeah, Philippine. hi, Master. Yeah, well, I'm a ant specialist. Oh, I talk to ants. <laughs> so to ant only? Well, no, not really. But I, I started uh, realize I'm a little nervous right now. Hey, come on! Of all no, two thousand uh, people. Why is that? You uh, look at me. Don't look at them. They laugh. Okay. <laughs> My heart is pounding. Oh, sorry. Okay, sit there for a while. Somebody else? You want to talk yet, or you want to have a rest first? <sighs> <laughs> you wanna, I have stage fright. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else who come around here? Hey, come up here, come up here. The same like the sister, yeah? Don't, don't just tell me I can talk to him like English and they don't respond. Have to have response, you know, like that. Anyone else? No, only woman, huh? Men cannot, huh? Wow. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame, shame. shame. <laughs> come here, honey. Yes. Okay. You want her to talk first? Is your heart pounding also? <laughs> All right, come over here. Yeah, come over here. Come here. Have a hold of my dog. And <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> uh, talk okay. to him, and then you feel better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let her talk first. No, that's okay already. Yeah. This is <coughs> supposed to be mine. I just lend it to you. <laughs> come on. Yeah. What uh, happened? I didn't practice it for a long time, but. I had some. I had a dog once, and yeah. I feel I can tell him what to do without talking. Yeah, just, yeah, that's different. Just yeah. inside. That's good. And then, so did so, he respond to you? Yeah, he no, did exactly what what I what I'm thinking. I, I think, oh, please go there, and he go there, uh -huh, uh -huh. like this. And but he doesn't talk to you. Uh, no sometimes, conversation. Sometimes, yeah. What does he when, say? When I, uh, I was sitting inside. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> like as if I'm very bad person scare you like that. No, I'm, I'm not I'm used to shame. not used to speaking through the microphone. Uh, okay, okay. And uh, sometimes he he liked to run outside very much. And yeah. He was sitting inside and and talked to me like this. Oh, when when do we go outside? <laughs> I want to run. I want to run. Uh -huh. And I. I um, feel very pressure from him, you know, uh, like this. Pressure uh, is different, but does he really talk? He talked to you in German? He <laughs> does? No, I just feel, feel oh, what feeling. he wants. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. And, and once I had, I had mice in my room, uh -huh. and uh, I tell them, oh, please, you can do anything, but don't uh, harm my clothes or yes, something. Yes, yes, yes. And they exactly uh, do that. Ah. They uh -huh. never 
do anything that just go in some other corner and make a mess there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like yeah, but that's just uh, yes. Also, maybe it helps that way. In that way, all of us can speak. But there are special kind, you know, that to talk to animal and they respond to you. They talk just like, just like you know, we talk together like this. Mm. Yeah, but not in the world though. It's just in in no, the. it's just. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking yeah, in the communication, it's like psychic, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Plants. Sometimes what? Plants. Plants. Oh, plants can talk. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> that doesn't limit to, to, to animal kingdom, of course. Yeah, thirsty They're thirsty and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They told you? Yeah. And you have plants at home? Yes. Give, give her the phone. Yeah, yeah microphone. Yes. Or whenever I go to a room, then there are many plants, then I feel at once that the plants are thirsty. Yes. <laughs> the first thing I do yes, is go yes. to water it, yes. and sometimes the owner of the room says, what are you doing? It's uh, my room. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes my assistant, they, don't, they cannot understand. I tell them, yeah, go and give the dog this and that, or, or go and check the birds. They say, I have just checked them. I just give them food. I say, one bird don't have food, go there. And really, he doesn't have food. He tells. Mm. Yeah, especially one uh, we forgot to even bring him here yesterday. <laughs> and today they forgot to give him food again. He sit on his cage as 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 long as as soon as I come back he quicky quacky and tell me all kind of things. <laughs> Look at what they did to me, you know. I have no food, no water. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I say sorry, sorry, for, and then. Uh, I tell, I tell the assistant to put food in the water. I say, this is how many times already you forgot this poor bird, and he almost died of apologizing. You know, it's always the same. You know, <laughs> please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, this is good. So where are you You're in Germany? Yeah. Yes. What are you doing now I there? Work there? You work what? Like what? Um. Well, I work in a company that uh, produces feeling lines for uh, beverages, beverage, beverage drinks. Oh, oh. yes. The and brewery? No, uh, they produce only the the yeast. And they produce only the the machines. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yes, and uh, I'm responsible for the part of the. Um, uh, soft drinks, ah. water, mineral water, and all these. How oh, you speak English so good? Well, so I well, I learned it in mainland China. Oh yeah. Oh wow. And you speak German as well. Oh. Yes. Work there. How long you been there? Ten years. Ah. Oh. So you like Munich, huh? It's a yes. nice, nice city, though. Yeah. And you have husband? Yeah. Pitifully, no? pitifully, yes. <laughs> pitifully, yes. Where is he? Is he here? No, no, no he's not is initiated. He no, no, he's not. Oh, bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. As long as he lets you come here, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 We forgive him. <laughs> How come you couldn't convert him, huh? Well, he's a physic. Physics. He, he studied oh, yeah, physics, yeah. so it's too much material things. Yeah. Yes. But I think it's um, like my ex-husband. He's a scientist. He don't believe anything that he cannot touch. <laughs> oh, oh, he don't believe things that's not in the test tube. You know, <laughs> that he could not uh, isolate in the test tube. <laughs> Very difficult. Yeah. He does believe, but not like do anything about it. He believes there's something there, but that's it. You know, it's okay. Mm. Okay, so that's it. Who else? Is there anybody? Oh, come over here, come on. You really can? I mean, like her, huh? Not just, I got a feeling there, you know. <laughs> come over here. Is that the one who has the cat? No, 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 that's another one. Come here. Who else? Who else is there? Oh, come over here. Need your mosota. Hey, 
那个电脑桌前面哈，然后因为我是我是从事电脑设计。我是从事电脑设计的，然后我跟那个植物说，明天我要带你过去，然后那个植物它就整个发光起来，然后在在那边摇哈，然后光闪闪亮亮闪在那，我我那时候我以为我眼睛花了，然后我就叫我女儿过来看，然后我女儿看到我们两个在那边拍手，那个植物一直发光发光发光，就像我们那个圣诞树这样，其实那个圣诞树哈。我看到圣诞树才知道，圣诞树它本来就是真有那个光，只是我们看不到。它它那边亮亮亮亮，我真的好漂亮，我遇过两次。然后，然后我我为了确定这件事情，就叫另外一个人过来看，证明说我当时不是那个神经是很正常的。他有看到吗？啊，他也有看到，他很高兴、啊。那个女的啊，女的。我我女儿，嗯，还有一次哈，那件事情我都不敢跟人家讲，因为我怕人家说我是疯子。怎么怎么说呢？因为。我有两次遇到飞碟了，那飞碟低空从我头上飞过来，它完全没有声音哦，非常非常的，好像金黄色的，啊，很大的一个，好像这个这个这么大一个金黄色的，然后它从它完全没有多大，这么这么大，在低空这样这么大，啊，高度我无法确定，然后它这样飞过去的时候，那我我我我又怕说。我不敢确定我自己是这样，我要赶快跑去叫我儿子过来看。再来。结果他跑来的时候已经不见了。好的。嗯。然后第二次我也我也有看到，但是这个事情我都不敢跟人家讲，因为我跟人家讲，人家还会说啊你是疯子啊。不讲不讲。所以说我只是在这边讲而已。有嘛？那些事都有啊。真的，我碰过两次，所以那是真的。是对了，对了，对。他们一消失也很快，一来也很快，没有声音。他不像我们那个飞机，飞机很吵啊。是是。他们他们速度很快，然后又没有声音，是完全完全没有声音，很近。那时候我刚一抬头，他刚好飞过去，啊，整个大地都变成金黄色，啊，奇怪，只有我看到而已。啊，就是因为他们都用意志力控制的，不是是用那个机油什么，不是用机器，所以没声音。完全金黄色，很漂亮。啊 ，OK。那个外格，那个是为了他们来这边，不会跟我们地球那种气氛冲突而而死而已。哎，而且速度那么快，也要保护自己。那个外壳是为保护而已。啊，他不会跟空气摩擦。啊，对他们不不不不要用机器可以飞，他们用用自意志力的。啊，哎，所以没声音。这个也不能告诉别，我也不能告诉别人，就跟你讲而已。叫我们两个知道啊。那那时候哈，我我有许一个愿的，我看到那个飞碟哈，我我马上许一个愿，我许，师傅能讲吗？讲讲。我许愿说，希望师傅永远快乐、美丽。谢谢。我那时候许的愿就是这样，我没有许愿，包括我太太、孩子，我都没有许，我只有许愿到师傅而已。啊，这么孝顺，啊，多谢谢，真的，包一包啊。哇，那么难受，那么难受。啊，谢谢哈，谢谢。啊，今天终于可以跟师傅讲了，哈哈，那给他。When I first has my rented room, after we have, I told you after we've been camping in the river for so long, <laughs> uh, we didn't have room, and so we had one rented room. It's full of those, you know, black and white, black and light, white snakes. They're all over in my room. They come and sing into me and all that stuff. And sometimes my staff will not carefully, you know, uh, even injure them, and they come complain to me. Yeah. So I told them, you don't use the brush to brush them out. Yeah, because that might hurt their eyes or something. And they think I'm so compassionate and thinking of these animals, but I just do know. I just do know. Because they think if they don't kill them, it's good enough. You know, it's already compassionate. But you have to use. I said, just use a bag. You know, I put nearby, and they crawl inside, and then put them out in the bush. 
together. So, but they keep coming in. They never bite us. Those are black and white. You know, they are poisonous, aren't they? Not. They have patches. You know, black and white. Black. Huh? What kind of snake is that? Anybody know? Huh? Có hổ mang nó kêu bằng cái gì hả? Cobra? They're black and white? Oh, okay, cobra. Mm. They have whole family there, big, small. <laughs> they all come singing, you know, open mouth. They couldn't sing loud, but they sing loud inside, I can hear. They open their mouth next to my, my sitting cushion. I talk, you know, I sing and dance. <laughs> Especially those babies, you know, they love to, to hang around me. <laughs> so I have to tell, be extra careful where you're walking because you can walk on them. It just happened that our, our rented uh, place at the time, they used this kind of marble, also black and white, look very much like them. <laughs> so they both blend in perfectly. I guess that's why they love to come there. They feel safe, like, wow, such a big cobra, the whole, <laughs> as big as the whole house. <laughs> so they run all over there and singing and laughing. It's so funny. And sometimes uh, one of the nuns is not careful, you know. She sleeps on top of them, but they don't bite her either. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> you don't dare. My, I say, so next time I say, if you're not careful, I make you stand forever, not laying down and not sitting. <laughs> She's a little fat. <laughs> and new, you know, new, newly joined, you know, as a, as a nun, as she sleep and sleep right on top of the snake, poor snake. Don't don't dare break any precepts. <laughs> the snake don't don't break precepts, but the nun did. <laughs> well, she didn't do it intentionally, but still, the 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 snake also died unintentionally. But he died, <laughs> nevertheless. It's a poor thing, so we had to apologize and all that. And have to walk carefully, yeah. I used to be um, in the convent in the 60s and 70s, early 70s. Mm. And um, I used to be afraid of cows because whenever we had a five-acre land and there was fence and we used to um, help, the cows would help eat the the grass and stuff like that, but mm. I'd always climb over the fence and they'd chase me and I was so scared and then one day I just decided I wasn't going to be scared anymore. Mm. And I had this one cow as a friend and um, she came to me one morning and told me that she was, um, a family had raised her and they were going to use her for meat. Mm. So she came to me one morning and told me that she was going to be slaughtered. Oh. And so I don't know how I did that? it. They even know in advance, and yeah. you think they don't know anything. So, um. Eat all that meat. Poor thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I gave her to eat, um, because we used to make the, the little wafers for the communion. Yes. And um, we'd feed that to the cows, but for some reason I gave her something that, um, the um, when she did die and they did butcher her, her whole body was contaminated with something that they don't eat. The her. family couldn't eat it because she didn't want to be eaten. Oh, so they wound up bringing everything back and then burying Bury the remains her. in the ground. Oh. So oh. she wasn't eat. Not one part of her was eaten. Wow. Yeah. Why? Is, why doesn't she want to be eaten? She just she didn't want to be eaten by a human being. That's uh -huh. all. I it's, can't explain it. It's okay. just, <sighs> yeah. None of them are really willing to to be eaten that way. Mm -hmm. They don't mind giving you milk, you know. And when they die, you can use the, you know, you can use the carcass in whatever way. But they don't like to be just forced, butchered, and then eaten like that. Yeah. You ask any of them, they say no. It's not the natural way. It's not a natural way they should be born to, to be doing. Of course, if you're hungry, you have nothing else, and you ask their permission, they lay down their life for you. They would. All of them would do that. But you eat just for the glutinous thing, you know, this is very bad. Even plants, 
they also complain if you just eat for the sake of it. So respect all life when you eat, you pray, and you offer to God, and that was the right thing to do. Yeah? And uh, thank them. Hmm? Thank God for making them, and thank them for sacrificing their life for you. But plants are the least, you know, the least, um, I would say, harmful, yeah? Because they, uh, they're not moving too much, and mostly they're not uh, as conscious. They're still evolving. Yeah, but still, even if you eat them with disrespect, you know, they gruntle. <laughs> so this is a good idea that you come and talk like this, and people would be more aware of animals feeling, and uh, they are great beings. Yeah. You can learn a lot from them. Uh, sometimes you ask the Maltese, and they will tell you that love is the best thing. The Maltese is very loving. They call them a uh, thousand kiss, million kisses dog. They always love you, <laughs> kiss you all over, all the time. <laughs> they used to be very, very beloved in Europe. I came from Malta Island, next to Spain. They belong to Spain. That's what I call Maltese. Um, they would tell you that love is the best thing, and fear is the next best thing. <laughs> when, you, when you're fearful, you try to learn things, and you, you have more knowledge. But when you love, when you have love, you just know. You don't need to learn. If you have love, you just know. And everything would just easy, yeah. So he say, if you have fear, you learn. If you have love, you know. <laughs> it's very um, good, though. So I feel sorry for a lot of people who are just, uh, you know, munching, eating, and uh, harassing and mutilate, mutilating, mutilating, mutilating these great beings. In the Bible, God say, I make animals just to help you, be your friends. They're really helping us. You know, the cows help to fertilize the land and to give milk to some children who doesn't have mother's milk and give milk to any being. You know, other animals as well, and give us cheese and milk. They don't mind doing that, but in a natural way, not like now, like with the machine, it's so painful and all that stuff. So I rarely eat dairy product. Not that I'm fanatic, but I don't like I don't like since long, before even I practice running method. I rarely take milk or any dairy product. Um, and, uh, you know, actually they are the second mother to many babies, to many of us. And nowadays, most of us grow up with cow's milk. So how can you slaughter your mother? Yeah. Huh? In China and in Vietnam before, you know, in Asia, we have second mother like that. Like the mother who is a wealthy lady doesn't want to feed the baby because too much inconvenient. Then he all, she always hire another mother who has a baby herself but have plenty of milk so they both can drink from that milk. We call that the, uh, huh? Wetness, yes. And how can you slot a wetness like that? Yeah, we even call that like second mother or nourishing mother. Yeah, so how can you do that? Huh? Yeah, in our country we're very grateful to this kind of mother as well. You know, yeah, we call it just like, you know, not wet nurse but wet mother. You know, <laughs> or maybe godmother, yeah, or adopted mother or nourishing mother, and we have a respect for these mother too. You know, a second to our mother. So um. It's the same if we do that to the cows, as if you slaughter a mother who gives you milk. So it's incredible how people can do that. I, I'm really sometimes very startled at, at our ignorance of the, the nature of creation. Oh, man. Okay, give okay. it to her. <laughs> She's waiting. I can feel the pressure. <laughs> we can communicate, all right. With these, uh, with these animals, <laughs> yeah. The first time I realized that I can talk to, at least ants at that time, was 
I was disinitiated, and I was living in an apartment in San Jose, and there was a whole bunch of ants that was uh, that were visiting in my kitchen. I had a very little kitchen, mm -hmm. and there was a big line of them. So I reported it immediately to my manager, who's right next door, and this was a big burly Irish guy, and uh, so. In the meantime, uh, he says, okay, I'll take care of it. Mm. So in the meantime, I thought, oh, something came to me, and I thought, I think I should just figure out if I could talk to these mm. ants so that they won't need to be eradicated, mm. you know, with uh, poison. Mm. So I started talking to them uh, psychically and said, you know, it's time now for you to go back. You've done your visit, and thank you for visiting, and uh, you can go back to the same way you came through. Mm. And... Uh, and that was it. So two hours later, I, I turned around and looked in the kitchen, and there was only about half of them left. Mm. I said, oh, that's pretty good. Mm. And uh, about six hours later, they were gone. Oh. So the next day, my manager knocks on the door, got this big, huge spray gun, mm. <laughs> and he says, OK, he says, I'm ready to get rid of your ants. Mm. And I said, that's OK. I already took care of them. He says, what did you do? Mm. I said, I talked to them. He says, you vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> right. He found out I was vegetarian for a few days before that. He knows that. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the last story I had was with my mom. I lived with my mom, and she had a, this big house. And one night, one afternoon, she had all these flying ants in the family room. And I saw her coming with this big fly swatter oh, and a spray gun. <laughs> and I said, wait, 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 mom. I said, let me, let me take care of them. And she said, oh, what are you going to do? Uh, I said, I, I kind of didn't want to tell her. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, uh, Difficult. Uh, I'll talk to them. <laughs> she, says, she looks at me really funny, and so she went upstairs. So, uh, so I talked to the ants. And same thing. I said, you know, you please come back, go back to your home, and thanks for coming. And you've already spent enough time with us. Bye-bye. So I, I check them out about... I went to bed, and I came back downstairs at midnight. They were all gone. Mm. So I thought, oh my god, I don't know what happened to them. I was worried. My mom must have really gotten rid of them. So the next morning, I asked her, what did you do with the ants, mom? She says, I don't know. I didn't do nothing to them. I said, oh my god, they did listen to me. Yeah, so from then on, I knew that I could talk to them. And I you could, can talk all right, but the thing is whether they answer back, you see what I mean? Now I, whether you can hear them. <laughs> we all can talk to them. Right. That, uh, yeah. We cannot hear them. That's now, a special gift. I was able to hear a, a parrot that was visiting a, a vegetarian restaurant in San Jose. Oh. We had one that visits there uh, every day. Mm. And he was, uh, everyone stops by to see this parrot because he's so beautiful and he talks a lot. Mm. He, he says all kinds of words. And uh, one day, nobody was paying attention. Everybody's so noisy. And he started screaming like... Mm. Uh, talking to someone and nobody paid attention, so I started talking to him from a distance. Mm. And so we were talking back and forth, and, and nobody was, it was just everybody was just kind of, you know, uh, he wanted some attention. Mm. So I just started talking back, and I, I didn't realize that that I was understanding what he was saying, and, and his words were inaudible to other people. I can hear the words exactly, and I was talking back to him, and I'm acknowledging him. In English? In English. Oh, not inside, but outside? Outside, too, oh. at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So well, that parrot belonged to somebody? One of the disciples, and oh. he comes to visit and eats, eats there at the oh. restaurant every day. Oh. So he brings them. He brings the parrot, oh. yeah. This is that person here? No. He didn't oh. come. Okay. You talk to your dog? What did he say to you? Mostly, uh, he can pick my... Uh, my ma very uh, exactly. Also, I can um, pick uh, him ma exactly too. <laughs> Mostly, uh, he want to eat everything. Or uh, sometimes, one day, uh, he's old. He's old, 13 years. One day, I talk to my husband, say, he's too old. Maybe I don't want to take him an anymore. Maybe give somebody else. He's, after that, he's, he's so, the eyes so poor, always uh, inside, say, please, 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 don't get me away, always say like that. Oh. My mom's always, oh, please, 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 please. please. Oh. So one day I say, okay, okay, I will take care of her life. Uh -huh. After, 
He's so happy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. He also uh, take care of me uh, very smart. Yes. One day I'm leg broken. He just uh, sit in my bedroom, look at me every day, stay oh. there. Oh. Yeah. This dog is very, very smart. Yes, yes. Yeah, very, very smart. Oh, sensitive. Yeah, the eyes just like home eyes. Okay. Look, you my friend. Take care of him, okay? Yes. You take care. Don't give him away. Yes. Yeah, you promised. Yeah, already. I will. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Dogs they like to be with their owner all the time. Yeah, until they die, they die. But many dog don't have that chance. Every uh, uh, they say every four seconds, one dog is killed in America. One dog is put to death because of unwanted. You know, they're not wanted by the ex-owner. Every four seconds. Or even if, we, if I make mistake, maybe four seconds or four minutes. But even then, every four minutes, one dog die. In America alone. Even if it's four minutes, it's terrible. You know, not talk about disaster or accident. No, they've been put to death in the shelter. Just say four minutes, so in case I'm wrong, in case I make mistake between four minutes and four seconds. But every four minutes, so as I'm talking to you now, hundreds of them already die. A very miserable death. If you have to put your dog to sleep for any reason, because he's sick or too old or something, you talk to him, tell him what's going on. Yeah, tell him the doctor thing is better for him, tell him it's time to go, hold him, hug him. Be with him all the way through. Don't just throw it in the, the, the clinic, let him do it or something like that. He understands that he has to go, but he needs love to go. He doesn't mind to go. You, but he needs you to love him and tell him that you still love him, he just uh, has to go. Yeah? And then uh, bury him, or, you know, yeah, be nice to him. Yeah, mostly uh, he don't like the take shower, so... Uh, Right now, he has the, the body have something else, sick, problem. So I take shower more time. So he just listening. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. Yeah, just let me take shower all the time. Yeah. Yeah, he understand. Yeah, if you explain. Yeah, then. just like my kids understand. Mm. Very yes. smart the dog. Yes. Yeah, the animal. All dogs are smart, believe yeah. me. <laughs> when you love him, uh, there is a response always. Yes. When you talk to the animals, sometimes you can talk to them, but you cannot always tell them what to do, of course. But at least, you know, he knows you care. Yes. Even if you cannot communicate psychically, even if you cannot hear what his response, you try your best and talk to him in English. And while you're talking, he understands, because you form a picture in your mind what you're talking about. There's a relation between what you're saying and what you're thinking inside, you see? For example, if I want the brother, brother, please uh, bring me a cup of water, then in my mind there is a cup of water, you see? And that's what he understands, right? It's just that if we don't have the gift, we cannot understand back what he said to us. You know, not so obviously, but we could have feeling and um, intuition, and that's a different thing. But like the sister here, she really can talk to anyone if she wants to. Okay? All right, I have to work, so i see you later. Right, let's go talk to my dogs. <laughs> I'm going to test her. <laughs> Wow, so much wind, and we have such a strong tent. Now you're free to cough. Congratulations, cough as much as you want. <laughs> you're free. Oh, how are you? Feel good? Yeah. You know, this morning I look in the mirror and I thought, wow, who's this beautiful lady? I wanted to ask you this question, because you always ask me questions. Uh, this is a question I have. 
Thanks for your love. Yeah. My face look better after meditating with you. <laughs> ah, we sleep so fine. <laughs> it is mighty fine to do some retreat. Yeah, can recover, you know. My dogs have no chance to come here. My bus is out of sight and sound. Wow. Feels so good, huh? No telephone, nothing. It's also very good for me. Yeah. It's good that you could just come every day and then I can, you know, hide here, you know. <laughs> hide among you, no? Yeah. Mm. Any last question? No? We've done it. Yeah. <laughs> Almost to the year 2002, can you imagine? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Remember when we were in a retreat in Thailand? That's year 2000, right? Oh, and we thought we were grand. Everybody worried that we're going to die, you know. <laughs> yeah, the world come to an end and oh, whatever, huh? And we're still here. <laughs> I told you in London that I would be around. But I didn't know that you would be also around. <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> hmm? It turns out that you're also, <laughs> you're also around. Am I dreaming? <laughs> is it my real body? <laughs> yeah, it is. Ooh, ouch, it hurts. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah? Yeah, huh, huh. She saw her. Ay, yeah, I'm in the loud. My God. <laughs> We're getting old for sure. But after many days, a few days, I see you look younger. Do you see that or not? Huh? Yes, huh? I lend you this mirror. <laughs> I keep looking at myself. Buhao <laughs> is. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed, but hmm, I look good, man. <laughs> the skin look better, huh? Yeah. Or is it the weather? <laughs> huh? Skin look better, huh? <laughs> Men look more handsome, huh? <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, meditation is really good, good, good. Huh? Good, good. You feel better? Yeah? Yes. It's not the same when you say, wow, I take three days off and meditate in my bedroom. You won't do it. <laughs> I bet you won't do it. <laughs> you're jumping up and down in the bed, and then your dog also keeps jumping up and down with you. <laughs> and then that's it, three days gone, doing nothing. But here, we really meditate. Huh? I mean, you really meditate. I just chip in now and again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's very good to meditate. Oh, <laughs> our style, you know, <laughs> freestyle. <laughs> But you do really meditate, though. I, I must say that you're good, good, good. Hmm? Do you see anything? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yes or no? Yes, huh? Even if I sit just a little bit, I see something. Yes. I don't know what it is, but I saw something. <laughs> You know what it is? Some, you know, something. Yeah. And then I get so scared because it looks like I don't have a body and I got scared. <laughs> and then I came back and my body is still here, thank God. <laughs> That's how you are doing all these three days. Get scared, come back, and then try to get out again. Get scared, come back, and then get out again. Huh? The Korean? Korean? <laughs> Korean is a Korean sister? Where is she? Yeah, that's how you guys do all day, huh? Get scared. <laughs> My God, if I don't let you get out of the body, you say you don't have experience. 
And if you get out of the body, you say, you're scared. You don't know what it is. What is that, master? How come my body is like a feather? <laughs> but the feather can get scared. <laughs> Funny, if you ask my bird, they will laugh. <laughs> what kind of feather is that? <laughs> yeah. You really uh, see something? Good, huh? A lot of things? Yeah? Yes or no? Oh. <laughs> Only one person. Yes or no? <clears throat> good, good. Yes or no? Yes. My God. God helps you if you didn't see anything these days. <laughs> I'll be praying for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's so easy to see it on retreat, huh? Easier than at home, no? Yeah. Uh, the group meditation also easy or not? Yeah? Easier than here or here is easier? Retreat is easier. Uh -huh. How come? How come? Tell me. Huh? No, no, it's not that. Put huh? down everything. Put down everything? Everything? You mean food also? <laughs> everything. Okay. Put down everything. You have to. There's nothing here to put down. <laughs> yeah, I think retreat is better, huh? Because you know you just have to sit. <laughs> Everybody else does. Nobody else to play with. So you have to come here <laughs> and play with your wisdom, huh? <laughs> it's fun to have retreat, no? Yeah, I feel very funny. <laughs> 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 but this retreat, I feel especially much better than many other retreats. I scold only one time. <laughs> <laughs> and really, really, that person really have to get, should get out of here before I even scold. So it was not, not even necessary to scold at all. You know what I mean? It's like putting a, you know, a stupid kid in a, in a university, and he wah, 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 all day long, you know, and the professor cannot teach, and the student cannot learn. A, nothing good for the kid either. The kid should go somewhere else, get milk, get dummy, get, uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> toys, whatever, huh? and not in the university. Uh, some of the people come in our, our group, they're not for, 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 for meditation or not for Buddha or nothing. Or else they wouldn't ask the same question ten years. Just come in any time just to, you know, I don't know what for. <laughs> yeah, the Maya knows the purpose, <laughs> just to make trouble. Uh, similarly, you know, even any disciple who have very little sincerity at all and just do sit a little bit at home, do get something. There's no such thing as I sit every day and get nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or uh, I keep vegetarian diet and still have problem. No, no such thing. If we have problem or something, we should check the, the diet. No? Sometimes uh, even my attendant they make mistakes. Yeah. Like. Uh, yeah, for example, they see like pico, pico vegetarian, and he just buy it home, and I almost ate it, but you know I read it again, and it's, there is some fish sauce in it. Yeah, the Asian people, like the Vietnamese, the the Thai, they put fish sauce in the vegetarian vegetable pico to make it taste good according to their tradition. Yeah. So you have to always be careful, huh? Sometimes you know, the cookie looks harmless, but there are a thousand things in there. My goodness, what do they all use to make a cookies nowadays? Oh, by the time I get through the list, <laughs> I don't want to look at any other cookies anymore. <laughs> the ingredients list, you know, <laughs> is so long. <laughs> and sometimes the print is so small world already, it's still so long. My goodness, <laughs> what do they all put in cookies? Huh? I hope we don't have to read uh, the same, you know, so long list about like bean sprouts or <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, now that we have like uh, 
uh, modify food, huh? genetically modifying food. Maybe we have to read a long list after, you know, after a while, <laughs> if they continue that way. Hmm? When they pack a tomato for you, you know, fresh tomato, and you have to read carefully. Ingredients, eggs, chicken, <laughs> beef, <laughs> milk, <laughs> soya, yeah, have some soya, <laughs> uh, glutamate, <laughs> maggi, <laughs> everything ready in one tomato. So if you eat one tomato, you don't have to eat anything else. That's the economy, <laughs> you know, uh, idea about it. But my goodness. You have to read so long before you find out whether you can eat that harmless cookie or not. <laughs> and sometimes the whole thing is all vegetarian, you know. Ah, da 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 da, vegetable and soya bean and oh, everything's all vegetarian. And the last one, da da egg. <laughs> have you? <laughs> Have you read just say, have you encountered that? Yeah, my God. <laughs> Sometimes I read a lot, I read the whole thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see anything that they say egg, you know? <laughs> but when I read carefully again, there's egg white. <laughs> But they broke the word. <laughs> Just sometimes, you know, because the, the column is small, so instead of egg, they put E and then GG white. <laughs> and at the bottom of everything, <laughs> and if you're not careful, <laughs> you, you might eat something. Let's say no egg, or no, you don't see any egg in there, but the Gigi White. <laughs> I'm not joking. It happened. Did you read those things? You see Gigi White? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes, no, mostly they put egg white, you know, so, so then, so then I have experience already. <laughs> now I look for the white. <laughs> you know, I read quickly, but pay attention also not only to the egg, but to the white. <laughs> and then, okay, I'm very experienced now. So I look for two words instead, you know. Or oh, many more words, maybe sometimes dry beef or whatever, you know, that's... But mostly cookies, you know, we're limited to the egg and the white. But then, <laughs> I'm surprised, uh, it's E-G-G e -G -G yolk. <laughs> My attendant, he doesn't know. <laughs> He said, it's no egg white, master, no egg white. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry, I want to laugh, but I'm crying. <laughs> what we all do in this world just to eat a cookie, my God. <laughs> and I became vegetarian too. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, are, we became vegetarian just to simplify our life. <laughs> like simple living, high, high thinking, you know. <laughs> but uh, we used to think, you know, high reading, you know. <laughs> No, high column of ingredients. My goodness, where do they find all these ingredients to put in a small little poor cookies? <laughs> in my mother's time, you know, there's no such thing so complicated like that. If we eat a cookie, we eat a cookie. You know? <laughs> now, now before you even eat it, make sure you stay alive until <laughs> until you, you, you finish the end of your reading.
Sometimes you're so hungry, you keep reading, reading, and you, <laughs> you might faint it in the supermarket. <laughs> so every time, I, I don't often go shopping, but sometimes for some reason I have to go, you know. I cannot delegate because uh, tenant busy or, you know, I need some special thing, I have to look. And uh, if I see some cookies or cakes with no eggs, you know, because uh, they love, you know, <laughs> they love cookies. Uh, if I see any, wow, I buy the whole mountain, you know. <laughs> I took the whole shelter, the whole shell out, you know. <laughs> and the, uh, the saleswoman, you know, the cashier always, uh, huh, you can eat all that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you're going to get fed. <laughs> I don't know for what reason, but most of the supermarket, you know, cashier, very fat. <laughs> So they were sincerely worried for me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I know we talk nonsense so much. <laughs> You know what, but one good thing about vegetarian, huh? <coughs> At least <laughs> we save a lot of money. <laughs> Too lazy reading. <laughs> yeah, it, it helps, you know? Yeah. And uh, one minute more or less make a big difference. <laughs> If the ingredients are not so complicated, you would buy much more and quicker, you know? You don't have time, so <laughs> you just buy maybe one or two items and time to go. <laughs> so at least you don't buy too much. <laughs> and well, at least we can laugh at it, you know? How can any meat eater can laugh like this? <laughs> they don't have to read so much. <laughs> My God. Ah. So, only you can understand me, you know. <laughs> we have the same problem. <laughs> and the problem also that is, uh, if I move to another state, you know, or I go to another state or I go to another country, the problem begins all over again. <laughs> because I'm in a new place, it's new stuff, <laughs> and we begin for the hunt again. <laughs> for the e e chi white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I run out of joke. <laughs> you want to say anything? Last word? A joke or a question? Yeah? I just wanted to say that sometimes I go to the store and I'm reading, you know, in the, in the, in the aisle for so long that the store security person walking back and forth seeing if I'm stealing something because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm standing there so long. <laughs> and then they follow me around the store. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then also, some, yeah, sometimes they come to me, look at my, you know, uh, her Asian chick face and say,
<lacht> Englisch? <lacht> Because how can an intelligent person <laughs> looking up and down, up and down, same ingredient again and again and again, <laughs> and then shake it ahead and put it back down? <laughs> What's that problem? <laughs> At least, you know, they're not so suspicious about me. <laughs> I look innocent. <laughs> Too innocent. <laughs> well, in, in Chinese, they say, the saint look like an idiot. <laughs> the saint and the idiot look alike. So I wonder if he thinks I'm a saint or I'm an idiot. <laughs> I would never know. <laughs> But uh, also many cakes and cookies, and that's already better. Some they don't have any uh, any ingredient, you know. And uh, sometimes uh, my uh, helper they, they just presume that it's okay because last time he bought an apple pie, it was no egg. So this is an apple pie. It must be the same. <laughs> so this, you know, but it's a different name. And I don't know why they put egg in the apple pie for. <laughs> The recipe I know doesn't need any egg. <laughs> yeah, for example, like that. So you gotta be really careful, huh? Mm, rather not not eat, yeah, and then eat something wrong. But you know right away. You know, if you eat something wrong, you feel t uh, stomach upset, or you have headache, or you meditate that day lousy, lousy, lousy. You feel empty. You feel like rigid. You don't feel like relaxed. You know, you feel your body is. is uh, uh, I don't know. The body is a little different even. The body, yeah? Feel rigid. It feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel like, you know, loose and, you know, uh, easy and smooth, yeah? This is the thing. You feel like your, your, your feeling is not as sharp, not as deep, no? Yeah. Something is wrong. It's just, you just don't know what, yeah? That is what? <laughs> That's the E G or maybe the <laughs> maybe the Y O R K, you know? These are the thing. Because it's not much um, it's not only it's just about the meat and the toxin in it or the egg and the, the, the you know, the poison in it, but it's the feeling of the the animal, you know? That uh produce these things. Hmm. The way they kill them, or the way the chicken has been raised in such a small confinement to force to lay eggs. Just eat and lay eggs, eat and lay eggs, you know. Thing like so it's nothing in there for you. It's all negative, bad feeling, sadness, sorrow, emptiness, you know, meaningless. So you eat these things, you suddenly also feel so meaningless. Your body suddenly is not... It's not the, 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 the how na fruitful body. It feels so dry or so hard or something rigid. Yeah, that is definitely the food. Yeah, the body is very easy to tell. No need to sit in meditation to feel anything. Yeah, that's oh, this life so difficult, no? Huh? So difficult. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you be more care careful than me. I'm very experienced now. <laughs> I look not only for two words, but three. <laughs> okay, guys, our meditation has come to a conclusion, but uh, not to the end, because every day we will meditate all the time. And I intend to live forever now to meditate. <laughs> I understand why the Buddha say if you you are enlightened, you can live forever. Because 
one day it seems like eternity already <laughs> in this world. <laughs> so <laughs> forever is just a very short, <laughs> you know, very uh, underestimated <laughs> statement. <laughs> now we could live forever, you know. If you meditate well and you don't take on too much responsibility, and you are highly developed also, huh? and you're willing to stay, you can stay forever. No, you're not willing. You don't want to live forever? No? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> then don't have to. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> you want to live here forever, it's not easy, but if you want to go, it's not, that's very easy, easy to take care. I can help you. <laughs> we can live forever also, you know. If we have a better environment and all that, we can live forever, yeah. But uh, you really want me to live forever? Huh? After you die, you leave me here alone? No, I'm not stupid. <laughs> Sometimes I do feel that way. Sometimes I do feel that the world really needs some, you know, lasting meditator, you know, to bless it. <laughs> Just to live. Don't even have to do anything. Just to continue living. The presence in this world. So the world will become better. And sometimes I really feel like continue living forever. Not that I didn't think about that. <laughs> I say I feel like only. Feel like <laughs> and do it is a different thing. But I still might do it, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Hmm. It's not that bad, is it, this world, is it? Is it so bad? Apart from the ingredients, <laughs> reading so long, what is it so bad? Huh? What? What, honey? Not now that we are with, uh, with your guidance, because you guide you, uh, you guide us every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. We are not alone. Things are easier. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, of course, no doubt, there are some, some day that I want to go immediately, you know. Not one more second, yeah. But some day when I see the world so much full of suffering, I just feel like I should continue living forever. Just to live forever, not like until everybody's enlightened, you know, and the world is no more suffering. Not like having to go out lecture or anything, just continue living. Yeah. So that uh, the meditation, you know, and the, uh, the energy, you know, will keep, uh, how do you say, generating into far corner continuously, and then it heals. Uh, well, at least it will not harm. Put it that way, huh? Well, I told you, I'm also very shy. I cannot talk much about these things. But I really did feel many times that I should continue. Do you? You sometimes think like that? Yeah? No? Yes? Cool. Then no. don't die. <laughs> huh? Baba, Baba, Baba Ji said he, he will uh, stay in the flesh forever. Who? Baba Ji. Baba Ji? Oh. I, I read it in uh, Yogananda's book that he promised that he will stay in the flesh forever That's on, true. on this planet. That's true. And they say that he can manifest any, anywhere on the planet in his physical body and take care of people that way. Oh, sure. Any enlightened master, highly enlightened master, can do that. 
uh, even some mastery paths, they still can manifest on earth too. Yeah, but they just cannot guide you physically. Yeah, and it's always better to have a master who can guide you physically and spiritually. It's always safe. It should be that way. It's not just safer, but that's the way it should be. Yeah, because we're physical. Hmm? Hmm. But is it possible to completely repair this planet? I mean, this this whole universe is under the rule of Kal. Mm -hmm. So, the question is that the the lower worlds are in the under the rule of Kal, and if if he's the ruler down here, then he will not let this planet become heaven completely, a hundred percent heaven. Yeah. So we can improve it temporarily, but then it will have to be destroyed because um, because he's the ruler down here, right? You can improve it until everybody else wants to improve themselves. You can keep it going until everyone else uh, awakens enough to get enlightened. And then we come together and take Carl by the neck, <laughs> throw him in the sea, say, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> oh, everything is possible. <laughs> but you don't know Carl is the Buddha. Carl is the other side of God. He does all this out of love. Or else how, do you, how can you train yourself? How can you sharpen your willpower? determination to go home again. No obstacle, no test, yeah? no strength. I understand. Yeah. So he's a good guy. Once you're good, he's good. And when you go up there, you see Carl over there. You drink tea with him. <laughs> We're good friends. No problem. <laughs> he's doing his job. Hmm? And a very loving, compassionate, patient, Difficult job, yeah. There is no fallen angel except the volunteer, yeah? Okay? Wow, we're talking deep now. <laughs> Not just cookies. <laughs> Thy will in heaven and all that stuff. <laughs> When you ask me a question, ask this in your language, okay? Ask your heartfelt question. Do not <laughs> run around in this maze of intellectual garbage. This is not yours. Yeah? Whatever it is, it's somebody else. You know, uh, some good things, if it's not yours, you don't know how to use it, it became garbage. <laughs> it's better to ask in your own language, in your own uh, formula of speaking, in your heartfelt uh, articulation, huh? okay? This is more real, understand? Yeah. All right, I, I just, now, any more, huh? I just thought there was a contradiction there, you know, what... what contradiction of how God will be done here? Yes, and... and since you, you also said that these, these lower three worlds will have to be destroyed because nothing is permanent down here, so it will last only a certain amount of time. Hmm. And when, when it becomes so terrible that nobody can live here anymore, hmm. then it will have to be destroyed. Yeah, but if somebody lives here, it's not so terrible. That's the thing. You see what I mean now? Even. It doesn't have to be like forever, forever, forever. Just live here, sustain the world until everyone became all enlightened. Then even if the world is destroyed, it's not about the physical destruction that I'm talking about. Yeah? Besides, if everyone is enlightened, there's no more world, you know, and the vibration of the planet will change. Mm -hmm. And then it's not the earth planet anymore, it's a heaven planet. Yeah? It's a higher frequency, and uh, such a higher frequency is hard to destroy, okay? 
Okay. It's coarse frequency. It's easy to destroy now because it's, it's like this, yeah? Because people don't practice. They're not awakened, eh? But in a few thousand years or three thousand years, people are different. Yeah? And if someone, uh, for example, like Babaji, continue his presence to sustain the planet and make the planet vibration is not so bad and influence people slowly, and then they'll be awakened and all want to be a yogis and practicing, and then the whole planet will be different. Yeah, it's for that purpose. Not that to keep the, the, this uh, you know, physical planet forever or anything. To live to bless the people of the planet, not to bless the planet. Or just so to speaking, you know, to bless them, bless the planet for everything, not just people. Yeah? And then even a lot of people more awaken and influence slowly. But this is slower, of course, than you do it by yourself. If somebody else influences you, it is slower because you have to uh, deal with your own will, you see? You have to want enlightenment. So a master can keep continue sustaining the planet until um, everybody wants enlightenment. You see? And then they do it by themselves. Are you understand? Is it contradiction? Is it too bad? Yeah? You do? Cool. Thank you, Master. Are you welcome? Hmm. Anyone else? Oh, still ask question. <laughs> oh, here, here, here. Give it to Pamela first, you see. Continue with this. You wait a little. Yeah. Oh, now you have two microphones. <laughs> Sorry. I d- we were talking earlier about the amount of work that goes into creating the retreat, and I just forgot one thing. Um, I just wanted to, on behalf of all the people who truly, truly appreciate the sacrifice of the brothers and the residents and the hufas and the cooks and, and, and everyone who's been working so hard to put this together, thank you for us. Thank you. But you said it already when I was talking in there. So you want to say it again? Thank the monk, but they were there. They were videoing and all that stuff. They were always there. <laughs> uh, also, there are some no monk brother also. Yes. I uh, don't worry. They will. They will see the video before <laughs> everybody else. <laughs> yeah, and they go into work more after you leave. It's not just now. Yeah. It's a very good worker, huh? Just a handful of people, do a lot of things, maintain the center and everything. Uh, we have some help from Taiwan also, you know, but uh, still, hmm? The, the, the one permanent is the one who works. Always have to be there, no? Hmm. Okay, thank you, huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> Thanks all the kitchen people. Thanks all the mm, the Mai Thai people. Mm. I mean the shopping people. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to the cleaning people. Thanks to the Mekong decorating people. Yeah, what is that? Also, we, uh, I have to go now. You have to go? Okay, yeah. brother. Go, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you and looking forward to next time <laughs> to work with you again. Okay. Uh, you always a hufa. Did you have time to meditate? Yeah, I, I did, Master, yeah. Oh, good. Please go take some cake, brother, okay? Some candies, if you like to. Oh, man. Thanks for lending a hand, eh? Yeah. Yeah.
He always lend a hand when I walk <laughs> down or up with the jeep. Yeah, all the best, brother. Love you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, I still feel sad even just one person go. Yeah. I leave you any time and I have to go also, but that doesn't mean I don't feel sad. Because I feel sad doesn't mean I cannot go. You know, so it's like that. <laughs> any one of you want to go, please go. Don't miss your plane and make excuse to stay here. We don't have that much food anymore. <laughs> Uh, Master, uh, we heard things about um, uh, 2012. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Not again. Uh, What now? Because you ma- you mentioned 2011, that's something... Like I did not say 2011, when? Yeah, you said that uh, many years ago. What did I say about 2011? You said there would be a change in 1911. I probably, you probably mistaken, it must be 7-Eleven. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so what about uh, 2012? If it's bad, don't tell us. No, it's supposed to be good. It's good? Okay, fine, we're waiting. If we live that long. (laughs) My goodness, we just finished one, my God. (laughs) All this prophecy, even if it's true, so what? Whatever happened, will happen, no. Okay? Don't worry too much, live today, forget tomorrow. Yeah, what else? That's it, huh? Jeez. Oh, it's getting worse and worse, all this uh, late questioner. Forget it, no more question, okay? If you don't have any fun to say, just shut up. Yeah, it's time to go yum yum. Mm? <laughs> have a good appetite. Okay. You all going today? No. How many going today? Wow, not too much. Buy some more food, guys. <laughs> no hope. <laughs> Two more trucks, okay? <laughs> no, seriously, why are you going so early? Huh? Have to work, huh? Yeah. I know. Isn't that nuisance? Just when we have fun, we to go back to work. Who, who cares about, who, who, who needs work, huh? <laughs> Here we don't work, but we eat every day. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the bad world where you live. <laughs> yeah, and, and don't even eat as good, you know? Working and don't even eat as good. Everybody say food here better. And you don't have to work much, just sit all day. <laughs> A retirement early. <laughs> yeah. That's good also if somebody retirement, maybe somebody retire early, you can come and stay in the center, huh? Save some money enough to live, yeah. Like every day how much? <laughs> yeah. Don't have to become a monk. Yeah. You don't need to pay anything here. Just buy your own food maybe. Something like that. Maybe we have a retirement program. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's easy to stay in the center and relax and all that. Also not too bad, huh? Yeah. You don't have to do much, yeah? You don't have to be really a monk or enlightened or anything. Just uh, keep quiet, peaceful, yeah? Don't bug anybody, then it'll be fine. Yeah. And if you bug us, we just bug you out. <laughs> Not bug you back, but <laughs> bug you out. <laughs> uh, that's also easy, huh? Simple, huh? Like, we have like one year trial, one month trial, you know. 
Ah, now I know why the Buddha, the Buddha has like monk for a week, monk for a month, <laughs> monk for a year, monk forever. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit cool for you guys, huh? Yeah. You know, there are some people in this retreat uh, that were so positive that I wish there were more than that. And I love these people so much for bringing joy into the atmosphere, for bringing positive energy with their kind words and conf- confirmative uh, way of speaking and uh, beautiful feedback as a result of their good work, beautiful uh, outcome that they report to me, beautiful feeling that they have and they share with me. These people, we need more. We need more for the world's sake and for us also. So everyone else look up on them and knowing what the yogi should be. Positive, 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 looking at the positive side. You don't have much responsibility. Why knows into bad things? Hmm? You don't have a responsibility or duty to correct anybody. Just continue practicing. And if you think you do some you don't do it well, you don't do it correctly, just ask a monk or ask me or ask the older practitioner and you still in doubt and ask the monk or none. Yeah? Just continue your job and you will grow. Keep drinking milk and you will, the baby will grow up. Yeah. Just don't keep drinking two, three bottles and ask me how more long? <laughs> how many more thousand of bottles I have to consume? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You told me I drink milk and will grow up. I haven't grown up at all. And I drink already three bottles of milk. You know what I mean? Thing like that. Or you don't drink at all, even worse, and then come 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 complaining. Yeah. Well, there's nothing there's nothing better I can think of than your life. Yeah, your lot of life. And do not have too much illusion about um Himalaya or Enlightenment Master anywhere else, you have one right here, okay? And I promise you, it's the best. The one right there is good. It's the best. You found the right one. Huh? And stick to him. And then you get anything you want. And then you will find out that you don't want much. And that's the best thing. That's the best thing to want, yes. My God. You know, because I know this is a secret between us. Oh, but I'm too shy. (laughs) Hmm. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Before I was born, you know, I knew that there are a lot of people who have difficulty going to find a master, you know, anywhere. Yeah. Because uh, their luck is not that long. Their luck is not that uh, easy, see? So I guess I volunteer huh? <laughs> to bring it to you. Huh? Maybe, huh? Maybe that way, huh? Maybe, perhaps, I guess, probably. <laughs> but I'm very shy about these things, really. Very difficult. Very difficult for me to say things about myself. Because that's the master self. It's not the physical person that I'm referring to. I'm, al- I'm always worried that you think <laughs> I'm trying to glorify this one, this body of mine which is uh, meaningless. This is good, it's a good vehicle, but it's not that one that I refer to. Huh? But it's difficult to understand that. It's easy to get mixed up and misunderstanding. Although this physical right now is the master inside. But the physical alone is nothing. You see what I mean? The personal citizen of that physical body is nobody. Yeah. So it's not that person that we are glorifying, but still I'm very shy. <laughs> yeah, one hand I understand, one hand is an, another worldly way of 
of uh, putting it is very, very difficult. Mm. I'm always shy. <laughs> Because uh, people tend to also worship the person that has the master power too, you see? So if you're not careful, they, they will think they will be attached to it. <laughs> yeah, also. Mm. All right then. Okay, okay. Good babies. Good girl, good boy. Go eat. You understand, huh? Well. It's very easy. Hmm? Just remember, the master power can be born anywhere, anytime, at any age. There's no need to have a fixed conception about where the master should be born and under which lineage uh, until, you know, like how long, uh, where she got it, or why he got it. The master doesn't need to get anything. It's just the way of the world. Let the law be done. That's all. Understand? Jesus wasn't a disciple of John the Baptist. You understand now? But he just let him baptize him and still call him master. That's okay. That's very, very okay. But if people get attached to John the Baptist, they make a big, huge, giant mistake. Got it? Okay. Bye.